Annette. Bonjour, Janiello. Venez avec moi. Non, merci. Fait trop chaud pour aller. D'accord. Merci. C'est là. We were like this, he and I, as close as I'm standing to you now. He had this pickaxe, understand? He was going to brain me with it. What did you do then, Monsieur Salon? I went for help. What else could a man do in a situation such as that? Yeah, what else indeed? Oh, the ferry. I'm sorry. There is some trouble with the motor. Well, how long will it take? I don't know. It's difficult to say. Give me a cognac, will you? It is not good to drink cognac, monsieur, in the heat of the day. Headache. Monsieur already has a headache. Your health. 
And yours, monsieur. Another. Monsieur is a tourist. Monsieur is not a tourist. But you are English. No, American. You have no car? I have no nothing. How did you get to saint Giron? I walked. How long is Monsieur staying in saint Giron? So this is where you're hiding. Lucky I found you. Lucky for who? If you finish sulking, perhaps we can get on. Have a drink, Grace. I don't want a drink. Are you coming? No. I'll leave without you. That's the basic idea, Grace. I hadn't that got through to you. You can't stay here. Miles from any damn place. How are you going to get anywhere without me? I'm a big boy now, Grace. Then start behaving like one. Oh, I'm trying to. That's why I'm not coming any further. Not with you, anyway. Besides, I like it here. I've always wanted to visit... Um, saint Giron. Yeah, saint Giron, jewel of the Provence. All right, if you want to be pig-headed, you can. But I warn you, this time I'm really leaving. Oh, I don't believe you. I shan't be waiting in Nice when you come looking for me. Bon voyage. Give my regards to your father. Ah, but I'm a very big boy now. <laughs> Life. Do you uh, have rooms here, Mademoiselle? Yes, but you'll have to ask my stepmother. Where is she? She's out at present, but she'll be back shortly. I'll wait. I'm going, Annette. Uh... The young lady will be quite safe, officer. I'm a confirmed misogynist, as you must have gathered. Well, in that case, good day, monsieur. Annette? Goodbye, Mr. Sano. There's nothing much to paint around here. No, on the contrary. From what I've seen of it, it's very beautiful. But in a stark sort of way. Here you are. Thank you. Monsieur was inquiring about a room. I told him he would have to see you. Oh. Um, I'm Madame Bena. I understand you were asking about a room. Yes, do you have one free? Will your wife be coming back? Uh, she's not my wife. She won't be coming back. No, I'm quite alone. Oh. Well, yes, we have a room, but it's not here. It's on the other side. All right. Annette, monsieur will be staying. Will you excuse me? Mm -hmm. Is the jukebox really out of order? Yes. Like the ferry. <laughs> monsieur would like another drink? No, thank you. Um, 
I'm going to be needing somebody to show me around, you know, the local beauty spots and things like that. Are you really a good painter? No. Well, you. I knew a painter once. He wasn't very good either. Ooh, you're avoiding the question, mademoiselle. What was the question? Well, I was asking your stepdaughter if she'd be able to show me around Saint Jerome. Annette, uh, Gilles has the ferry ready. Would you go across and fix Monsieur's room? All right, Yves. Did I say the wrong thing? Oh, no. No, it's just that uh, Annette never does anything without asking me first. But of course she can show you around. We'll both do it. Would you like a drink? Yeah, I'll have a beer. Mm. Will you join me? No, thank you. Not now. You uh, give me a screwdriver, I'll fix this thing. I'm an electronic wizard. She drove through the village with a formidable speed. That's my girl. Ah, she's very beautiful for an English woman. I agree. Monsieur did not mind her taking the automobile. Oh, it was hers, Monsieur. Ah, she's rich too. Yes, yeah, she's very rich. Beautiful and rich. As you said, Monsieur, that's life. That's that. And it's so happy, eh, Madame Bena? you for a couple of minutes? Yes, of course. Oh, Annette? Yes? Will you please tell Gilles that Monsieur would like to cross? All right. Good night, Annette. Good night, Monsieur. Thank you very much for the dance. Uh, Monsieur Farrell. Yes? You wouldn't think that Annette was already 19, would you? I haven't given it any thought. She's such a child, really. Impression of you, understand? Yes, Mrs. Vena, I think I do. Good night. Good night. I hope you manage to sleep in this heat. Thank you. 
I, um, I couldn't sleep. Why are you awake? Well, it's hot. It's always hot here at night. Would you like a drink? Yes, all right. Yes, thank you. Are you going to stay here long, Mr. Fire? I don't know why. I was just wondering. Tell me, what do you do around here? Don't you find it dull? Oh, no. My work keeps me busy. And then there is riding, swimming. Alone? It does get lonely sometimes. Must be something seriously wrong with the young men of Saint Jerome. What? Uh, excuse me, please. I'll only be a moment. <laughs> That's forty francs, you and me, Jeff. <laughs> I know. One more game. Okay. What about tomorrow? No, Jeff. Look, I'm not asking you to elope with me. I just want you to come on a picnic. All right. Annette. What are you doing up? I couldn't sleep. Suppose you go back to bed and try again. All right, Eve. Thank you for keeping me company, Jeff. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. I'm sorry about this, Mr. Farrell. Don't be. I couldn't sleep either. I saw a prowler. I think Annette did too. She was nervous and she wanted somebody to sit up with her till you came home. Prowler? Just after you went out. Oh. Oh, there are a lot of gypsies here on the Camargue. They're harmless. Mr. Farrell, you shouldn't let Annette take advantage of your good nature. <laughs> Shall we? like there's enough in here for ten people. Will you join me? I should be getting back. All right, then. But not here. I know a much better place. Up there. More wine? No, thank you. This is a beautiful place. Mm hmm. We used to come here a lot. I'm not surprised. Annette loved it. Her father would. Go on. <laughs> no, it's not important. No, Annette's father. Well, stop me if I'm being nosy, Mrs. Baynard, but there is a Mr. Baynard. Oh, yes. There is a Mr. Baynard. And uh, he won't mind you renting me this room. 
We're a registered pension, Mr. Farrell. Why should he mind? Well, just you and Annette there. He won't know. Oh, he's not coming back soon. You must have read about it, even in the American papers. They called it the settling killing. Settling. It's Baynard, George Baynard. He's my husband, and it's father. Wasn't it something to do with her? Mm hmm That man he killed, Johnny Erlo. He picked up Annette on her way home from school. She was 15. He assaulted her. Charles got hold of him before the police did. You see, people here believe that a man should be able to settle his own differences without interference from the law. <laughs> Georges was a hero in their eyes. It was the Janiero family that had to leave. Pretty bloody crime. Mm-hmm. It was so terrible that they found Georges insane. Was he insane? Well, at the moment, he must have been. But it was an insanity of rage. Now I think he's as sane as you and I. Where is he now? He's in an asylum, just outside Avignon. I go and see him every fortnight. That can't be a very pleasant experience. It's horrible. He just sits and looks at me. He never asks about anything, except about Annette. He just sits there and looks. He hates me, I think, for being outside while he's locked up. Well, it's no good talking about it. The situation exists, and there's nothing that can be done. I must be going home now. I really enjoyed our picnic. I can't tell you how much. Then we'll do it again. I'd like it. Very much. Do you right, Mr. Farrell? If I have to. Because I'd like to show you the Camargue as it should be seen, from horseback. How are you getting on with your painting? Oh, I'm still waiting for inspiration. <laughs> well, like most things, if you wait long enough, it will happen eventually. See you tonight. More coffee? Yes, thank you. That was one of the best meals I've ever eaten. You're an incredible cook, Annette. <laughs> thank you. Eve taught me. Where is Eve? I don't know. She often goes away like this without telling anyone. May I ask you something, Jeff? What? When you first decided to stay here, I mean, without having made any plans, wasn't anyone who might wonder where you are worry about you? Well, the only person who worries about me is me. But you must have some relation, a family. No, no family, no relations. Well, what about that girl? Grace? Are you lovers? You mean, are we in love or are we lovers? I'm sorry, I'll tell you about Grace. She has a very rich father. Anything he wants, he buys. And she was brought up that way. She sees the thing she wants, she asks the price, and most times she gets it. But not this time. Me? Oh, it's not as dramatic as that. She wanted to go to Nice, I didn't. That seems a small thing to disagree on. Well, I used it as an excuse, really. In London, Grace blinded me with her reflected glory. Oh, I thought I was in love with her. Probably because everybody else was after her. But a week of Grace exclusively is too much, I'm afraid. <laughs> and I wouldn't have minded going to Nice as it happens. But not with Grace. <laughs> Definitely not with Grace. What are you going to do now? Stay here for a while. Oh, I really am a painter. At least that's how I make my living. I'd like to paint you. Why? Because you're a very beautiful young lady. Where are you going? I must go away. 
some help. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. Annette has cooked you dinner. Yes. She's a wonderful cook. Aren't you, dear? She said you taught her. Oh. She flatters me. I promised to show you the Camargue from horseback. What about tomorrow? Yes, I'd like that. Good. Good night, Mr. Farrell. Good night. Thank you, Annette, for the dinner. Right. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice. There isn't much else to do over here. I'll race you to the sea. you join me? I would have, but my horse had other ideas. <laughs> well, you come prepared. Of course. Is this where you come on those occasions when you disappear? Yes. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? Miles and miles without another soul. Meaning you um, like to be alone? Sometimes. Don't you? Not very often. Bearing that in mind, am I invited again? <laughs> of course. If you make yourself useful, here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to bed. Well, I'll come up with you. It makes me so happy. I feel I've come alive again, thanks to you. Oh, if only... If only what? No, 
saw nothing, nothing real. Hey, come on, tell me. <laughs> it's tomorrow. Oh, I dread tomorrow. What about tomorrow? I have to visit George. Oh, I see. Oh, darling. I don't know how awful it's been. Oh, I can guess. And now it's going to be so much worse. Because of me. Yes, but it's not your problem. Oh, I want your problems to be mine now. <laughs> oh, it may sound selfish, but I love you to say that. Just someone to worry about me again. To think about me. I'd like to come with you tomorrow. I'd like that. Very much. You didn't say anything about anyone else last night? Well, maybe the man just ran away. Where are you going? I'm going to Ala to do some shopping. Well, I'll drive. All right. Oh, look at this over here. Oh, they sweet. Things over here. A kilo of those, please. Tell me, what would you have done if I hadn't come along? <laughs> Strange as it may seem to you, I always can find someone to carry my past. Yeah. I'm just a workhorse. <laughs> Take this to the car. I'm going to buy a present. What? We'll see. Please, get in. But the show Forget it, I'll explain later. Oh, he's the only one who could have sent them. The driver said they were ordered by phone this morning. That means he couldn't have got on the boat. Maybe there's something he wants more. What, Annette? That was arranged. No, you. He agreed to let me go. Yeah, so we'd help him escape. But if he stays around, he's bound to be caught eventually. Yes, but he might not care. <sighs> That's silly. Why should he want to escape if he doesn't care? Revenge. On who? You and me. How do we know what went through his mind when you told him about us? Locked up in that place with nothing else to think about, he might have planned this whole thing just to get even. Oh, Jeff. That's crazy. Yes, exactly. Make up your mind, Eve. We're dealing with a homicidal maniac. Do you want me to help? No. Thank you. 
makes us as guilty as he is. Yes, I know. something back. Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. Inspector? And uh, you were going to say? Nothing. I'm sorry. Please, go on. But remember, madame, Georges Bernard is completely mad. I have spoken to his doctors, and they have told me he is without doubt the most dangerous man I have ever searched for. Please remember this. And should he try to contact you, or you, mademoiselle, I implore you, let me know. We will let you know, Inspector. Thank you. You are staying long in saint Girond, monsieur? Why? Just that it is necessary, after a while, to register with the local police. I'll remember that, Inspector, if I stay that long. Good day. The telegram from father. So me. From Arl? Let me see. The arena is Arl at 11 o'clock. Well, you're not going. Of course I'm going. Isn't it what we have all been waiting for? Well, you can't go, Annette. Who are you to tell me what I can or cannot do? Eve, tell him. Tell him he can't order me about. Annette. I think you should do what he says. You might have to, but I don't. What happened? Why have you changed your minds? Darling, there are some things about your father we didn't tell you. No, I don't want to hear them. I'm going, and there is nothing either of you can do to stop me. I'm going to pack. Oh, Annette. I don't see how we can stop her. Well, I'll take her into Arl tonight. At least I can see him, ask him some questions. I'll decide about her later. No, Jeff. I think it's better if I take her. Darling, I'll be all right. But he'll be less suspicious. He'll talk easier, and I'll know if there's anything wrong. You stay here, in case it's some kind of a trick. Or if the police call again. Believe me, it's the best way. Right. I'll go and tell Annette. Darling. Mm? You know that I love you. And I need you. Be careful tonight. Yes? Yes, thank you. Ten here. The car has left. Report to me as soon as contact is made. They left home. Was that Gilles? Yes, Gilles. You know, he isn't as uh, simple as I thought he was. That night he dragged me out of the workshop after Baynot left all the equipment set to explode. He told me I wouldn't have been in this mess if I'd minded my own business. And he was right. Fortunately, he did not mind his business either. If he had not seen what he did that night, they would have got away with it. But remember, none of this would have happened if you had not conspired to help a criminal lunatic escape. I've already paid my penance for that. Well, allowing myself to be wrapped in bandages and stuck in the hospital. How did you know what method Eve was going to use to get rid of me? She could have slit my throat for all you knew, or cared. But it worked, did it not? Yes. Good. They are heading for Le Bois. May I come too? Yes, of course. Come on. 